There is some summer left, but there's no denying that fall is on the horizon, and that means that the transition to outerwear begins. There are lots of choices out there, but you can't go wrong with the classics. So here to show us four outerwear basics that every woman should own is designer Annika Forbes. Welcome back to the show. How are you? Thank you for having me, Tara. I'm great. We're okay. So we're going to talk about basic basics, but I do want to point out what you're wearing right now, which is <laughs> one of yours. Yes. Uh, and we will get to the the leather jacket. In mm. black as a basic, but this is lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, today we're going to be focusing on if you only had four jackets, yeah. these are the jackets you want to own. Um, you can always add in seasonal trends, such as this powder blue motorcycle jacket, right. um, or a shearling is huge for fall, but these are the ones that will take you through any occasion. And even if, so, even if you were to invest maybe a little bit more, it's going to take you through this season and next. I mean, these are timeless, exactly. right? Yeah, you have to focus on price per wear. Right. So if you're going to spend a good chunk of your uh, budget on something, a jacket is a great option because mm -hmm. you can wear it so frequently. Mm -hmm. And with a basic, you're not going to get rid of it next season. You can wear it for the rest of your life if right. you take good care of it. So. And this is why, although some people, you know, hate the approach of fall, some of us <laughs> enjoy it because you can add these options to your wardrobe. Layers, yes. And we're going to bring in uh, our accomplished models. We're going to start with model number one here, looking beautiful. Yes. Our first model is uh, florist, stylist, and mama to be, Sarah from sassyann.com. Today she's wearing the long line blazer, which is a design that I made, and it's available on AnnikaForbes.com. The great thing about the navy blazer is mm -hmm. that it is the most versatile of the four looks. You can wear this to work, obviously, that's the most usual way that you would wear it, right. but pop it over anything and it adds instant polish. Right, yeah, yeah. jeans, t-shirt, and then add this blazer and you're good to go, right? Exactly, yeah. Beautiful. I love that design. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sarah. A very familiar face coming in. Phaedra, model number two. <laughs> yeah, Phaedra is one half of the Stylista duo, and they are the official stylists for the core. That's where I picked up this uh, jean jacket. It's from The Gap. Now, I chose a medium blue color, mm -hmm. and I would suggest if you're looking for a basic to go with a medium blue right. or a light wash, because if you get a darker wash, you're going to end up going into a more dressy territory, which in my opinion, the navy blazer covers for you. I see. Yeah. Okay. Now, a lot of women probably already have a jean jacket in their wardrobe, but if they have one from, say, the 80s, early 90s, <laughs> you're probably going, going to want to take it into a good tailor and get like right. a nice, slim, flattering cut given to it. Yeah, that's really what's happened with the evolution of the jean jacket. It's become, <laughs> it's become more figure flattering. You look yeah. beautiful, Phaedra. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the other half coming now. Yes, yeah, Brenna is the other half of Stylista. These girls have an awesome Instagram account, as do all of my models, so make sure you check them out. The jacket that she's wearing today is also from the core. You can pick it up at Club Monaco. I chose a beige trench. Mm -hmm. A black trench or a navy trench is a great option, but I find beige is perfect because it matches all the neutrals. Sure. And you can also pair it with any type of print or it, it pretty much goes with everything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Classic, well, never exactly. style ever. Yeah. One thing to keep in mind whenever you're purchasing a trench coat, some can be qu cut quite long. Mm -hmm. If you are taller, no problem. But if you're on the shorter side or petite, you want to make sure that you look like you're wearing the jacket and not that the jacket's wearing you. Okay. So um, shorter stature, shorter hem length. Okay, is yeah. the rule to go with That's there. Absolutely, I love that. Isn't cut. it great? Yeah. Very beautiful, Brenna. Thank you <laughs> Thank very you. much. And Brittany coming in, last but not least. Yeah. So Brittany is a lifestyle blogger at lifesetsale.com, and today she's wearing. Does it look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's wearing the classic motorcycle jacket from AnnikaForbes.com in black. Now, some vegans or vegetarians might be a little bit concerned that I added a leather piece to the top four pieces every woman should own, but there are so many amazing animal-friendly options Absolutely. out there. Um, Stella McCartney sent full f faux fur looks down the runway right. for fall, so with designers like that pursuing more animal-friendly options, you're going to see better science with the material. So. Um, one thing to keep in mind whenever you're styling a moto jacket is to stay away from the costumey look 
We're not James Dean. <laughs> <laughs> so try to keep away from the all leather or right. the motorcycle jacket with the motorcycle boots unless you're actually unless on, you're, a motorcycle. You're right, on exactly. a motorcycle. If you're going for a ride, then uh, stay safe. Yeah. Uh, Brittany, thank you. And thanks to our model uh, slash blogger slash very accomplished ladies <laughs> over there. And how do we find you online, Annika? I am very active on Instagram at Annika Forbes, or you can check out my website at AnnikaForbes.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Breakfasttelevision.ca for links and information.